Hey guys, I'm Jun Han. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing something DIY, something which I think I can do at home. That is restoring my sister Suzuki Swift headlights because they turned yellow, cloudy, and the car is about 20 years old. So I want to attempt to try and restore the headlight back to original. So I bought a headlight restoration kit from Maguire's on Shopee. But first, let me finish my coffee. Brew and break coffee is the best. So yeah, after this, let's go. And here it is guys, this is the Suzuki Swift, you guys can see the lights are all yellowish and cloudy already on both ends, you can see, yup, and I'm going to explain briefly on why you should restore your headlights. The car headlights are basically the eyes of a human, it's the first thing you look at right, let's say if you see someone, you look them in the eyes, that's the first thing you look at, same goes for cars, when you see a car, definitely you look at the eyes first. So let's say if it's very cloudy, it makes the car very old. But if you restore it back to factory fresh, even though this car is like 20 years old, you look like you just came up from the factory. And yes, it makes that much of a difference. Now you may wonder why do car headlights even turn yellow? The reason for that is because nowadays the headlights are made from polycarbonate plastic and they are coated with a UV protection. But over time under the sun, especially the weather in Malaysia is so hot, the coating starts to wear off, wear off, wear off and eventually it disappears. And then that's when oxygen gets to enter into the headlight, the plastic, and then it oxidizes, so it turns yellow. And that is not only bad in terms of the appearance, but it also affects your vision. So let's say you, you, shut, you turn on your light at night, it doesn't fully shine to the road because it's covered with a layer of the fog. It affects you as a driver because you can't see the road, and it also affects the other road user as well because they can't really see you. So yes, it's dangerous for both. So yes, this is why you have to restore your headlight. Actually back then in older cars, they actually use glass instead of plastic and glass won't oxidize so it's always clear but then it's hard to manufacture. I mean it's very expensive and it cracks easily. Let's say when a stone fly and hit, it cracks and then you have to replace the whole thing. Plastic is more durable, it's cheap, it's easy to manufacture. So yeah, there is, that's the reason why they go for this. Okay, actually I haven't opened the box that arrived from Shopee. So I'm gonna open it right now. I'll show you guys. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Okay, nice. Open it up. Okay, this open. So the product I'll be using is this, the Maguire's two-step headlight restoration kit. So I heard it's gonna be very easy because it's this two-step process and then it will last up to one year. And then you don't need drill, basically you can just use hand manually do it. So yeah, everyone can do it at home. So we're gonna open this up and see what's inside. So you have two cleaning pads and then what else do you have? This one is the coating spray, you like coating spray, you use this after everything and then if I'm mistaken you have one more let's see if we can do it with one hand, it's a bit tight yes, this one so this is the cleaning solution so you have this, the cleaning solution the headlight coating, oops, two pads and one cloth Okay, the first thing you need to do before restoring the headlight is basically just use some masking tape and tape around the outer edges of the headlight because when you start applying at time, you don't want it to fall onto your paint which could damage and I know there's a specific masking tape for this but I don't have so I have no choice but to use a traditional masking tape and it's not a dark tape so don't worry, it won't affect the paint. Okay, masking done on both the headlights. I gotta admit, it's not a very professional job because you can see it's like pretty bad, but I think it does the job. So now let's proceed in restoring the headlights. Before I apply, I gotta make sure that the headlights are clean. So I'm gonna clean it with soapy water first. Once it's dry, time for the cleaning solution. Give it a shake. And then apply on a cotton pad. And now let's get scrubbing. First you're gonna do it in a vertical direction. Means up and down, up and down, up and down. And then later on you're gonna do it left and right. So you're gonna do a cross hatch pattern so that it's Uniform. Okay, now let's wipe it. Spray a bit of soap. 
then yeah, switch it down. Now, depending on the condition of your headlights, if it's very yellow, you can go ahead and apply a few more layers, a few more times. If not, one time will be enough. Once you're done scrubbing, it's supposed to have this uniform frosty appearance to it. As you can see, then cross the entire headlight, you can see it's blurry. Don't worry if it's blurry because it's supposed to be like that and this is not the final result. The reason for this is because the pad I used just now, it actually acts effectively like a sandpaper. So you want to scratch, yeah ironically, you want to scratch it so that it has a lot of uneven surface on the headlight. So that later when you apply the coating, it actually sits, it actually fills up on the scratches so that it stays on the headlight. And the final step is to spray the headlight coating onto the headlights. Now this is according to the instructions, it says you're going to spray one time and then after that, leave it sit for 3-5 to five minutes and then only apply the second coat to fully seal it. And then after that, you wait for 3-5 to five minutes and then for it to be fully cured, you need to leave it for 24 hours and not under the rain. You got to give it a shake first. Okay, moment of truth. Look at the immediate transformation. Now let it sit for three to five minutes and then we'll continue. Okay, the time now is 12.15, it has passed five minutes. So now let's spray one more time. This time we're gonna spray more to fully seal it. Let's go. And done. Just look at the difference between the one that has been restored and the one hasn't been restored. The difference is night and day, man. Yep, so this is how it's supposed to look like. Brand new, you can see. It's very clear, no scratches, no nothing. And then this one right here, it's blurry and all. Yeah, did a good job. Just for fun, I'm going to restore the fog lamp as well. This one is very, very yellowish. <laughs> Can't even see through inside. And it didn't work because I think this one, it's inside of the lens and it's not outside that is yellow. So yeah, this one cannot be done. Well, let's just repeat the same process for this headlight. And there you have it, the headlights restored on the Suzuki Swift. Remember this car is 20 years old, huh? so now it's fully restored, it looks newer, right? Apart from that annoying fog light which turned yellow and can't be, it needs to be replaced. So yeah, apart from that, I'm very, very satisfied with the product. So they say this will last up to one year. So maybe I'll let you guys know after one year and see whether it really lasts until one year. And all it took is basically 10 minutes on each side. So 10 minutes for this headlight and 10 minutes for that headlight. That's it. So good. And that's it for this video guys. So if you guys enjoyed, I just want to show you guys how easy it is to actually restore your headlight even though it's very yellow or even though it's like more than 20 years old, you still can do it anyways. And I'm very very satisfied with this headlight restoration kit. Now this is a two-step one which in Shopee I think costs about 160 bucks. I'll leave the link down below. There's another one which is more expensive. It's called the heavy duty one. It's usually for headlights which are very very yellow but I think the Swift one is pretty bad and it still works. So I think for this, it's enough. Keeps your headlight clear for up to one year and it only took about 20 minutes. So yeah, you can imagine how easy it is and how effective it is. So yeah, definitely recommend it if your headlights are yellow. Thanks for watching. With that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.